Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome guys to this video. My name is Jakad Zaman. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today we are covering the tarkib. Arab as some of you guys call it. Okay, so first of all, let's have a sentence. Remember, if you guys are not familiar with my channel, YouTube Roots of Knowledge, then please check out the videos below and hit the like and subscribe button and let's carry on. So today, the sentence that we have today is this. هذا الطالب جديد من لندن. Okay, so let's break this down then. So هذا sentence isn't all that straight, but هذا <clears throat> this is what we call اسم إشارة. Okay, now if you want to break this down into the the, the those, those things that I told you, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then how that would be an ism. At talib is also an ism. And then you got jadid is also an ism. Remember, this is really getting into the nahu. This is really kind of the fruit of what you've learned in nahu. This is a harf. And then London is an ism. Okay, you've identified that. Excellent. Number two, is this uh, one, two, or three? So this is times one, times one. Times one means wahid, it's singular. And obviously, this doesn't really apply here. London is times one. Okay, number three, is this masculine or feminine? So this is a masculine word, meme for masculine. Masculine, masculine. Okay, this doesn't apply. This is a masculine word. Okay, four, is this a ma'rifa? Or is this a nekira word? So remember, all um, all ism ishara. This is an ism ishara. This is ma'rifa. Okay, so let's just put ma'rifa here then. Ma'rifa. Now ma'rifas are seven, by the way. The seven common ma'rifas that you should know. The seven ma'rifas are. So I also write this down. Actually, I won't write it down. I'll just uh, just let you know. Actually, I'll write it down. Cause I know one of you is going to say, oh, please, can you tell us the ma'rifas? Okay, so here are the ma'rifas. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all proper name names, all damirs. In fact, I should have started with damir first, but anyway, switch switch those around. Damirs, isam isharas, isam mausuls. Any word that has an alan there, and anyone that's mudaf to the previous ones, and monada. These are the seven ma'rifas. Okay, so therefore, hada is ma'rifa, at talib is kind al, so it's ma'rifa, jadid in none of these, so it's a nakira, it's a indefinite, min doesn't really, this doesn't apply to that. London is a ma'rifa, it's a name of a place. Okay, so it's ma'rifa. Is it Mu'rab Mabni? So all Ism Isharas are Mabni, by the way. And at talib this is Mu'rab, meaning the vowels change on this word. And then you got Jadid, which is Mu'rab, the vowels change. And that's all harfs are Mabni. All harfs are Mabni. London is Mu'rab. Okay. Right, number six. Is it Marfu, Mansub, or Majru? So this word is Marfu, this is. In fact, the reason it's Marfu is because this is what we call the Mubdal, right? And it's actually going to become the Mubtada. And then this word, Talib, is Marfu as well. This is actually Marfu because it's Badal onto this. Yeah. So therefore, this would be Hada Talibu. Hada Talibu. Yeah, Hada Talibu. Okay, so Jadid. What's Jadid then? So Jadid is going to be Marfu. So let's put the vowels on there. Marfu. And this is Marfu because this can be a Khabar. Okay, now this can be a Khabar. These two become the Mubtada. This becomes the Khabar. And then London. This is considered to be the Majroor. Now, it is majroor, however, it is ghair munsarif. 
from the family of the Mu'rab is غير منصرف and so therefore the vowel is going to be seen it's majrur but the vowel is going to be seen as a fatha okay so fatha single fatha okay because this word London is actually a name so for a word to be mamnu' min sarf it's a name plus it's non-Arab yeah so ujma non Arab. Alright, so that's why it takes single fatah. So how the talibu jadidu in London. Now this is I would say probably the easiest part, right? It's because now if you in fact join it all up, right? So min London, jar majrur. So here the the min is gonna be muta'alik, it's gonna be connected to the khabar, right? And then all of this obviously becomes the khabar, this becomes the mubtada, mubtada and khabar put together. Becomes Jumla, Ismiya, Khabariya. Okay, J I K. Now that's one Tarkib. That according to that Tarkib, the translation of this should be as follows then. Hada, this student, now you don't say the the. Okay, you don't say the the. The the is actually not pronounced here. So this student is new. New. Okay. Now, see, I made this muta'ali to this, isn't it? So, therefore, the translation is going to be new from London. Okay, what does that mean? It means he is new from London. As in, he's not new from anywhere else. Like, there are people who are coming from Manchester that are new, and Birmingham that are new, and Europe that are new, but he is jadidun min London. He's a new person from London. As in, the new batch that's come from London, he's one of those. Yeah. Uh, so that's a subtle difference. Now, if I didn't make this muta'alik here, let's say, for example, let's do another one. Let's make this. We're going to make this independent, okay? This is going to become muta'alik to thabitun. It's going to become a second khabar. So all this is going to become a second khabar. So therefore, the translation now is going to be like this then. How that this student is new and... So you have like and hidden there. And... From London, so he's new. He's a new student. He's from the new batch, and on top of that, he's also from London. But the previous translation was, he is new from London, as in the the new batch from London. He's from there. So you see the difference between the two translation. That's what you need to try and figure out when you try to use these uh, muta'alliks. That's what you really want to do. Uh, okay. Um, okay. I'm just trying to think. Ooh, should we do another one? Uh, okay, you you guys let me know in the comments what else you think we can possibly use over here, All right? What are the possible tarkib? All right, so I've given you two already, two different, slightly different translations. You can tell me as well, you know, how how would you do this? Um, actually, I'll give you one. Yeah, let me give you one. So let's look at this for instance. If we say, for example, هذا الطالب, yeah, هذا, we make this the mubtada. This the first khabar. This the second khabar. And then we can do the same two things with that. In that case, the translation would be this student. Yeah, this student. Singular, it's not, it's not plural. This is the student. Should have is hidden there. This is the student and is new. This is the student like. Let's say, for example, someone's saying, where is the student? You say, oh, this is the student. And is new and from London. Or if you make it more ta'ali to this, to, to new, uh, then it would obviously be uh, new from London. So see those three translations. Let me know if there's a fourth one you can come out with. And this is what you should do with the Arabs and Turkeeps. Try to play around with them. Try to see what you can do with them because that is really what's going to make the 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 Nahu interesting. Because it's going to make your mind work very hard trying to figure out how it works. Is okay? All right, guys, take it, inshallah. Thank you to all my patrons for all the support you guys show and the love you show my channel means a lot to me. If any of you guys want to become supporters of this channel, donate towards the channel, become a patron on a monthly basis. Um, you can become a patron as little as one pound a month or one dollar a month, or whatever you want to give. Or you can even do one-off payments. A description has all the details. Thank you very much, guys. I uh, will see you guys next time. And let me know what you think of this uh, series. Assalamu alaikum.